From Tupac to TLC, if the launch of West Coast Hip Hop had a clothing lot attached, it would be Cross Colors. The brand is back in business and dressing a new generation. First of all, I'd like to talk about the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Uh, it is 2023. Right. A t-shirt by Cross Colors, an L.A. brand made famous at the start of West Coast hip hop. We reached out to Death Row Records and here comes Snoop. Our commitment was to dress them, make pieces for them. Mary J. Blige was another one. That's Tupac wearing Cross Colors designed by Carl Jones. A updated version of one of our logos. Cross since colors since 1989. And TJ Walker. What really inspired us was going back and forth to the East Coast, to New York particularly. We went there and we saw how the youth and the kids were dressing during that time. When Will Smith wore cross colors on the TV series The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, they got noticed. Today, it's still oversized urban clothing with a message. It's clothing without prejudice. You know, that was the, the, the huge message we were sending out overall, uh, but we really centered around stopping gang violence, also education. We have one of the garments that Drake wore here. With names like Drake and Billie Eilish, Cross Colors is taking on a new generation after folding for a time. When we got that call from Urban Outfitters at the time to relaunch the brand or basically make product for their store six and a half, seven years ago. It was unbelievable. This year at LA Fashion Week, Cross Colors was back on the runway. I'm like, dude, do you wanna do this again? Because we know what it takes. It takes, you know, your life. This is their showroom in the downtown LA Fashion District with classes for aspiring designers through the nonprofit The Black Design Collective. Walker, an industry icon, is among the founders. This is a place where we can educate and also train individuals how to cut, how to sew, how to make patterns, and these kind of things too within the space. Cross colors taking me back in the day. Big memories here, and their first supermodel was actor Jaimin Hansu. This was very indicative of the 90s with the cinched waist and oversized and the sleeveless piece too, is, with the hood. Is this one of your originals? This is one of the originals. 1989. This is 30 years old. Where'd you find this? eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love eBay, right? That 50th anniversary hip hop t shirt now, that new version that they have right now out, it's a limited edition, so get it now if you want it. So they went on eBay to buy their own thing? Well, they want to find some <laughs> of the classic pieces. They did a lot with Magic Johnson. Do you remember Midsummer's Magic? Yeah, Big yeah. Day four day event kind of thing. Um, they have his some of his jackets as well that they've been That's looking so cool. for. And isn't it interesting that everything as old as new again too? A lot of that stuff mm -hmm. is cool well, right now. I love the oversized jeans. Yeah. That's great. Yeah.